Hi, and thank you for joining me for this In the Spirit moment with Miranda. I want to send a big congratulations out to all of the graduates this year and to parents. Um, and I know starting this new chapter can be very difficult, whether you're going into college, the military, or you're going into the workforce. But congratulations to you, and we pray that you are successful in whatever you set out to do. I want to talk with parents and guardians really quickly. I'm a parent myself, and I realize, of course, that oftentimes we can work a lot at preparing our children for going to college, for starting careers, trying to make sure they have everything in place and do everything they're supposed to do. Uh, but many times, the one thing we do not uh, remember to do is to help them have what they need for this life through the Word of God because the Word of God is truth and He's given us His Word to help us in this life. In the proverb it says, lean not into thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge Him and He will direct our path. We're to do things in His strength because if we are children of God, we have His Holy Spirit in us to help us get through this life. But how many of us are really teaching our children that God says in His Word, I have a plan for you, declares the Lord, uh, to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. How many of them know that God says he will never leave them or forsake them? How many of them know what Jesus has said, that in this life you will have trials, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world, that they have victory in Christ Jesus. But then there may be some who don't even know Christ as their Savior. Maybe some parents that don't even know Christ as their Savior. But praise the Lord, it's not too late because in Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Do that now if you have not done it already and ask Christ to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior and have victory in this life. Stay in the Word of God because that's what we have to guide us through this life. And let's teach our young people to trust in God to trust in his word, to stay in his word so that we can have the victorious life that Christ came to give us. Be blessed, be encouraged, and thank you once again for watching this In the Spirit Moment with Miranda.